financial accounting. We're talking about financial performance. And the, one of the more important questions is, what's the cash doing? What does this do to my cash? So we have cash flow analysis ratios, and there's four of them. So we're going to look first at cash flow yield. And the cash flow yield takes the um, cash flow from operations on the statement from the statement of cash flows, and it divides it by the net income. In other words, this is kind of like the conversion factor. How much cash do I get out of my net income, my profit? It? So for short exercise nine, same facts again, we're going to look at X7, and it says cash flow from operations is 32,000, net income was 28,000. So what is the conversion factor? 1.1 times. So we're getting about one to one between the cash generation from my income statement and uh, what my bottom line is. So one to one ratio. If I look at X6, it was better previously, it was 1.5 times. So in other words, as far as that bottom line and what it meant as far as my cash account, it had a uh, conversion factor of 1.5. So getting a little worse. Well, what else is happening? Cash flow to sales. Remember when we did the um, vertical and horizontal analysis that sales had increased a whole bunch this year. So um, let's see what happens. Cash flow to sales, I'm going to take operating cash flow and divide it by net sales. So operating cash flow again is $32,000. In X7, our sales were $360,000 or 8.9%. So as far as how much cash do we get out of our sales, it was about 8.9% um, proportion. Previously, it was 14.5% little higher percentage, isn't it? Hmm, wonder what else is going on. Well, let's look at our cash flow as far as our assets are concerned. And to find that, it's the operating cash flow divided by our average assets. And you remember, average assets is beginning of the year assets plus end of the year assets divided by two. So for X7, op, uh, cash flow from operations, 32000 divided by 308,000 plus 240,000 divided by 2 would give us our average assets. So as far as our cash flow to assets are concerned, it's 11.7%. Hmm. What was it previously? 19.1%. So are we looking at kind of a deteriorating situation? Yeah, we are. And you know what else we know? If I find my free cash flow, that reinforces that I am in a deteriorating cash situation uh, as far as cash generation is concerned. So let's look at free cash flow. To get free cash flow, we take our cash flow from operations and we subtract our dividends, our cash dividends that we have to pay out. And we also subtract our net capital expenditures. In other words, how much money went out for um, our capital expenditures versus how much money came in because we uh, also had some capital expenditure transactions like we sold a building, we sold a car, uh, we traded something in. So what we're looking at here then for X7 is oper cash flow from operations of 32000 We paid dividends out of 12000 and the difference between our cap, the capital expenditures in and out was 80000 So notice that our cash, our free cash flow was a negative $60,000. More cash went out than came in. Hmm. What was it previously? Previously, if I compute that same ratio for X6, it was $30,000. So am I digging a hole a little bit deeper? Yes, I am. Again, does this want to make you want to ask some questions?